I was not surprised with the outcome, but I'm disappointed. William James is one of the supporters of Nelson Peltz. He wants to see the billionaire investor bring his mission to rejuvenate the company to P&G's board. We want them to be selling Crest or marketing Pampers or doing something, but not, not creating this suffocating bureaucracy with, which exists here today. And, and it's, it's a real issue. And, and they say they're changing, but they're not. That's Peltz saying no matter the outcome of today's vote, he'll keep pushing company officials to do more to boost P&G's bottom line and its stock price. You could feel the tension at P&G headquarters today leading up to the announcement by CEO David Taylor that the company's current board of directors had been reelected. The company says that means Peltz's efforts to join the board failed, but Peltz says it's too close to call. If they lose, it's so, you're dancing on the head of a pin. Is that a victory? I don't think that's a victory. Peltz, who whose investment firm owns $3.5 billion worth of P&G stock, says he'll wait for today's vote to be certified before conceding defeat. As for changing direction, P&G CEO said the company is in the middle of a comprehensive transformation. Our objective is crystal clear. We want to perform at the top of our industry. Taylor has the support of Linda Clement Holmes, P&G's chief information officer, who's about to retire from the company. I think I knew at the end that shareholders would do the right thing. So um, I, I have confidence in the company and I have confidence in what our plan is. Now, Clement Holmes said Peltz's battle to win a seat on the board had become a big distraction. She's confident that workers can now return to being focused on one thing, making consumer goods that people around the world want to buy. Reporting live, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.